Cannon Island is a beautiful island located in South Carolina and it has so many amazing, beautiful things to discover as well as dolphin tours, boat tours, swimming, amazing cuisine, and lying amongst these amazing things to do is my favorite thing to do, which is going to coffee shops. So I am filming this video for you guys so that you can see some of the top coffee shops, in my opinion, on Hilton Head Island. I'm just gonna feature five coffee shops in this video, although there are a lot more coffee shops on the island. These have been my favorites to go to, and I think that you'll enjoy them as well. So without further ado, thank you so much for coming to my channel, and let's get right into them. These are in no order specifically, but the first place is gonna be Java Burrito. It's on William Parkway. This place is really trendy, it's really cool. They've got a ton of selection. They've got, it's kinda of like a Chipotle almost with burritos and bowls and then coffee. We got a honey lavender latte. The honey was local, creme brulee. These were so good. We really enjoyed them. We had outdoor seating, lots of seating. The next place is Carolina Coffee and Crumbs. We probably went here more than five times on our trip. Really, really good selection, again, of food. Beautiful atmosphere. It's in Ligny Plaza, so it's easy to get to. And again, they've got food, they've got pastries, lots of coffee items. Coffee was a good price. The atmosphere was amazing. And their decor was so cute, so beachy. And there's always a line here, so if you're gonna come here, you might wanna get here with some time to spare. They also have a lot of retail stuff, but nothing but good things to say about this place right here. Next up, we have Hilton Head Island Social Bakery. There are two locations. I've been to both. This one was my favorite. It was a standalone location on William Parkway. This place has probably the most selection of pastries and food I saw on the island in a coffee shop. Tons of like gourmet pastries. Their menu is pretty extensive. Everything we tried was really good. Again, I just stick with my usual, which was a vanilla honey latte. These pastries right here were so good and our coffee was amazing. So I highly recommend this place right here. The next stop is the French Bakery in Shelter Cove. I really like this place. They have a lot of food, a lot of bread, a lot of sandwiches, almost like a Panera bread in a way. And their coffee was really good. However, I will say that this place is very pricey. It's the priciest place that I've gotten coffee on the island. But again, they have lots of pastry options. They have macarons. They were really good. Uh, I really liked how their coffee was actually made with coffee ice cubes, which is kind of a unique trait to this place. So definitely a must try here. Next stop is Daily Cafe and Market, and I am sorry for filming this the wrong way. I was actually filming a TikTok and forgot to film this place, but this place needs a spot because it was so good. This is probably my favorite place. It's a new coffee shop. They were so nice. They had some food options and a lot of coffee options, lots of good retail and grab and go stuff. They were really, really nice. Staff was awesome. And we actually stopped here before we went on the Captain Hook fishing tour for the day and ended up coming back here again after because it was that good.